beginning at verse 15. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. Matthew, the fourth chapter, verses 1 through 11. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterwards a hungry. And when the tempter came to him, he said, if thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and sitteth him on a pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, if thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hand they shall bear thee up, lest any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And said unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee and say, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. This is the word of the Lord to the people of God. That when Satan comes to us, we must not yield to Satan, but we must what? Turn to God Almighty, and he will have his angels to keep charge over us at all times. This is our word for today. As we hear this word, there is no coming through the preached word from our pastor. Let us prepare our hearts and our minds to receive what thus saith the Lord to us, and be prepared to walk in the fullness thereof. And as we prepare now, to, it is time for our altar call. As I begin to speak, if you know that you have a prayer in your heart, that you want to leave it at the altar of God, you can begin to come now. Let us not forget to pray for those that are sick among us, for those that are not with us, but they have ailments in their bodies. Let us pray and take charge over the devil this morning and every day of our rest of our life. God has given us that authority. Let us walk in the fullness thereof. Let us decree and let us declare that the Satan is not going to have control over us and our family and our love. Let us pray for this country of Japan and all of those that are there. There are many Americans that are there. So let us consider those and what the tsunami has done there. What is going on all over the world because truly God is speaking to our hearts. God is telling us that time is winding up. It is time for us to get right and it is time for us to walk right. Amen. Amen. 